Biz Markey and Cutmaster Cool V have been like Batman and Robin. If you've seen one, then you've seen the other. That is pretty much how things played out in the earlier part of their careers. Being a part of the iconic label Cold Chillin' and part of the Juice Crew All-Stars solidifies their relevance even more. Cool V was there to see a lot develop in Biz's career, as well as Big Daddy Kane, Cool G Rap, TJ Swan, and a list of others. In this exclusive two-hour interview with Cool V, he breaks down the cold chilling years, his ups and downs in the business, and he shares some stories that's never been told. Welcome to the God's Honest Truth from Cutmaster Cool V. Hey, I'm the Cutmaster DJ Cool V from the world famous Juice Crew, and I'm here with Craze, the king of content, man. We here, baby. Let's go. Whatever way I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it. So it's whatever. At that time, later on, later on in life, now you're looking back. I'm looking back. Everybody talking. We ain't, none of us got royalty checks. When? I ain't never got a $25,000 advance. I never got a $50,000 publishing, $100,000 publishing. Nothing. You know how many records I did? Every record. <laughs> Produce, cold produce everything. Me, it, it's me and Biz there all the way. Ain't nobody else. And, and the people that it is somebody else is loosely 45 King, um, you know, uh, Todd, Salam, Remy. You know what I'm saying? They done work on our albums. Large Professor, yes. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, it's all me and Biz. Ain't no other time when they, they, since the work's been the work. <laughs> since like 83, No, since the work been, since, since the work been the work. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, that's family. So even when Molly was doing the records, we were coming up with some of the ideas at the crib. You, you understand what I'm saying? And Biz would go to Molly's house. Even when we did the first Make the Music that never came out before, Molly got a copy of that now. He's supposed to be sending it to me. Okay, exactly. It was two kids rapping from around my way, and Biz was doing the beatbox on the hooks. Like, you know, so make the music with your mouth, Biz. And then Biz do, you know, and then make the music with, boom, you know, doing it. But that record never came out. So Biz went back and did it over. Solid. You can't front on that one. <laughs> well, I guess specifically, and I'm just asking specifically, if you can remember, if you can, I'm pretty sure you can. I can remember. Some idea. Yeah. Well, um, that first album. The first album. That this, this came out okay. Classic. Right? Classic. Everything on Everybody it. footprints on it. Everybody right. fingerprints is on it. Right. Me, Kane, Biz, Swan, right. everybody's fingerprints on it, but it looks like me and Biz just puppets. Right. You know, you see, produced by Marley Maul, written by Kane. Right. Not true, not true. Like we, like, and we all did our parts. You understand what I'm saying? But Biz had most of the ideas. What is that? Any record Biz does is he got the idea. And ain't nobody, ain't no record sitting at Marley house waiting for Biz. Yo, no time. Yo, this is a Biz record. This is what we gonna do with this. No, we come there, we build a record. Marley do what he do to it. Marley taught me how to sample in the studio. So I'm never gonna front like he didn't do that. But you can't take all the credit for every record that we did. So just X the whole album, Cool V Tribute to Scratching. You think Marley had a DJ record for me at the house and it, I just came over there and he said, yo, do some cuts on this and make that. You just think that happened like that? No. Molly wasn't even there when I recorded the record. Andre Booth was there when I recorded the record. I don't get no credit for that. You don't get no credit for a lot. I don't get a credit for the things, that, let alone with my name on it. Right. I, so many records without my name on it, I don't get credit for. So think about that, you know what I'm saying? And then when people, all these stories come out, like everybody did everything for us. Right. And it's not true. So how did, how did Kane get because Kane went there with Marley with the lyrics sometimes you know what I'm saying so Marley know he write the lyrics so he handed in Kane as the writer no biz as a writer no right. not in the beginning right. right now if you look at the album the later pressings it says co-produced by Biz Markey right. the later pressing right. but it's already finished so you talking about the remastered version yeah the stuff that 
that came out years ago. Yeah, right. like, come on, man. So at this time, this album comes out, you guys got no credit on it. What's your conversation like? We just puppets. We, I pitch on the back here. Just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, thank you. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, we didn't do anything. We didn't do nothing. So what was that conversation like between we know what we did. Right, right, but I'm just saying, and, 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 and that's the why the next down, album, it, next album, we doing our next album myself. Right. We're not even going to Molly's house to do our next album. Right. And that's what we did. And that's how it got. And that's so, Cutmaster DJ Cool V never sleeps. DJCoolV.com. The whole story, each right. record, the breakdown, baby. That's how it is. Kane's in here. You know what I'm saying? So let's break down your book a little bit. Yeah. This, this break man, break it on down. That's and, right. And get the, real the real details. We'll, we'll, set, we'll give them a snippet of, of what's in the book so they can buy the book, right? Okay. So we'll on, on yeah, yeah. We'll touch on something. What would you want to touch on? Well, I'm going to ask you some questions because I'm pretty sure it's already in the book. Yeah. So, um, Ty, mm -hmm. what was his role in the credits, like the credits not. First and foremost, Molly was the in-house producer. Right. I never had a problem with Molly. Okay. Molly was my mentor. Right. Never had a problem with Molly. So now we've recorded the album. We've done the this recording. This album is which one? This, this is, music? no, this is the, the Just a Friend album. Just this is the Friend. second album. Okay. We've recorded it all the way. We finished. I got two more records to put on the album. You know what I'm saying? So now I said, yo, Biz, I'm gonna let Molly mix it with me. You know, cause- So this is after your, the first album comes out and y'all say, I'm not doing nothing with them no more. Biz said he wasn't doing, don't, right. we not doing no records with Molly because we didn't get no credit the right. first time. Right. We didn't get no credit, like right. nothing, not even, you know, nothing. Right. No footnotes, no nothing. Right. It's just produced by Molly. But what did he actually do? Who? Molly on the album. On the first album? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm saying. Like, what, like, like, what did he do? Like, well, what did you oh, see him do? Oh, program drums and do a lot of things. Like, like, listen, we didn't know how to program drums and all that stuff with the drum machines and all that. We learned that with Molly. Then the Biz bought me a 1200. Molly had the SB12. Right. So now I got the 1200. Right. So now I'm fucking with that. And Molly's like, yo, that's whack. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yo, because he got the, the driver that goes right. on the 12. I said, yo, we don't need to drive. We got the disc. You just put it right in there. Right. So he was like, yo, let me hold that for a minute. So now I let him hold it. He don't want to let my joint go now. So now he doing ain't no half stepping and everything. Right. Now, you know what I'm saying? Like now, I ain't get no credit for ain't no half stepping. Right. But me and Kane did that in my crib. Really? Kane said it on the radio. That's why I'm dumb. Right. I, can, no, 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 I, no, no, I can I can only say it because Kane said it. Right. So I, I would right. never say it unless he said it. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? But that's the way it started. Right. It started at my house. Then Kane went to the studio and, you know, added all the flavor to it. It's cool. Right. You know, it's just like just rhyming with Biz on Kane's album. Right. Shim Sean did that in his in his bedroom. Me, Kane, Shim Sean in the room. Ain't nobody else there. Me and Kane put the drums on it through uh, the little Synsonic drum thing. We was hitting the, hitting the things and we speeded the record up to get the kick. We did all that in Shim Sean's house. That Molly got. So when y'all handed these records, they, they, he did, just stamped his name. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Wow. But he's the in house producer. So we thinking that's the way it's supposed to go. Right. Y'all not understanding the Didn't understand the but business. He did know y'all were supposed to get credit for what y'all did. After the first album, because 45 King, it's in the book. Hold it up. It's in the book. It's right. in the book. All right. 45 King told me what producing was. I didn't know. Right. He said, V, are you got the ideas? You got the records when you go to the studio? You telling them what to do? Then you producing the record. So Molly, to clarify, he was more arranging things, but he did bring some ideas. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, that first album, we all... It was a good. It was a good chemistry. We came in with ideas and we all lent our hand to it. Right. And 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 the album is a classic. It's dope. Right. We we ain't going front on that. Right. That's dope. I'm not taking no credit from nobody. Give no credit. That album. That this album. Right. That album. Right. Molly ain't do no records on that album. Right. But he got credit for it. No, they tried to give him credit for it. Right. And who's they? Tyrone and Lenny and D and everybody oh, at the right. office. And so how did y'all stop that? How did y'all stop 
I had to, because I had to take all the tapes from Molly's house, because I brought 45 King to the house, because we was going to have Apache, um, rest in peace, Lakim, Lati, and all of them on a the record with Biz, because 45 King is one of my mentors, too, from the right. Jersey side. Right. Remember, I'm the only Juice Crew member that's from Jersey. Right. So I'm from this side, so I'm dealing with the flavor unit. I'm trying to bring the flavor unit and the Juice Crew together right. so we can have the ultimate team right. ever. You got Molly, 45 King, Cool V, Big Daddy, everybody. Right. We it's a family. This is what I'm envisioning. Right, right, right. Molly ain't envisioning that. Molly didn't let us in the house that day. Like, yo, he said, I don't know them niggas. So this is still happening in Queensbridge, that is great. No, this is happening in Spring Valley. Okay. We way past Queen. We way past Queensbridge. Okay. We done missed a West whole. Chester. We done. We done. We done missed a whole stop. Astoria right. is where we recorded most of the biz is going off. Okay. Queensbridge make the music. Right. You know what I'm saying. Astoria, the rest of the biz is going off. Right. And then Spring Valley, we tried to do everything else. Right. right. And um, that's where you took it from. From when you went. Oh no no! I was at Power Play. I did. I did that.